came down to pay my respect, you know, because it's something happening that shouldn't happen. It ain't supposed to happen like this. We have uh, 16 Oakland Police Department uh, students pursuing their bachelor's degree, and Mark Dunnigan was going to graduate in June. It's heart wrenching. It's just heart wrenching to see this. That's right. The black man, the black woman is tired of being disrespected in their own community. You know what I'm saying? We're tired of being scared of the police. We're tired of being attacked. And we're tired of being stereotyped. I have policemen in my family, and I'm praying for them. And I just. I just pray that God have mercy and teach us how to love each other. I said Oakland needs to be healed. As we gather this evening, our hearts are heavy. Our hearts are heavy for a lot of reasons. For those of us who love this city of Oakland and who work in this city of Oakland, we are tired. Tired of the violence, tired of the killing. But we come together this evening to recognize as a community the hurt we all feel and the killing of these officers. Then a man laid down his life for a friend. Oh, there is no greater power. I come here today to accept all your condolences, your support, and your prayers for the Oakland Police Department. Sergeant Mark Dunnigan. Officer John Hagee. Sergeant Irv Romans. Sergeant Dan Sakai. Remember why we've gathered here today.